at the Park Street Manor for Tim and Jerry's wedding. It's time for last week's episode 175. Let's go! my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Laugh From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So last night going in to work, we had caught this little milestone for the mini, which I do admit I stopped for a second to celebrate a little bit, as well as locating for the first time since this throwback a first level parking space in the parking garage at work once again. Anyways, on to post shift this morning. Recalling what I hinted at from last week's episode, we actually have a surprise guest that will be visiting and staying over at the condo for the next couple of weeks. But you'll have to tune into next week's episode to find out who exactly it is. I arrived home to the condo greeted by this Little surprise! Oh my gosh! <laughs> we got a little rat! Where's this rat? Who is this? Hi! Hi! Guys, we got a new puppy! Just kidding, but honestly, this little one who absolutely loves the taste of my forearm. Did you wash your hands already or no? It's like literally going up to my, what is it, up to my elbows. Like I scrubbed. Who goes by the name of Chewy is our special guest doggo here at the condo. Who will be dog sitting for the next couple of weeks. But yeah, this morning I spent most of my pre-post-shift nap time with him watching some reruns of Bluey on the big screen TV. Your favorite TV show is on. We're watching Bluey. Look, look. Before taking a measly 57 minute nap. And so after a few hours of being awake already, we took the little doggo for a nice little afternoon walk outside with the wife, then flashing back to these scenes that we've recorded in previous episodes before, while watching a rerun of WWE Raw from last night, we saw another glitch that showed this QR code, which had revealed this riddle, as well as this short video on the wife's phone after we had scanned it. And now, telling y'all about our dinner tonight, after seeing these Domino's 50% off all pizzas promo. Guess who made their way to their closest location? Picking up these pizzas to feast on with the wife this evening. We then wrapped up our day trying to teach the doggo some new tricks. Up, up. Yeah! <laughs> Good dog, yay! before getting it to pass out on our laps for the night. Officially day two on the dog sitter's log, where I only got five hours of sleep with my eyes still swollen, being woken up this early by the barking of the doggo, wanting me to take him out for his first walk of the day. So I took him out into the chilly outdoors at around 6.30 in the morning, Took him on another 45 minute walk out in the sunny afternoon weather around 3.30 p.m. Then as I was trying to eat my pizza leftovers from last night, had him poke his head out being curious to see what I was eating. Watch this beautiful sunset as it was actively setting behind these buildings on the horizon. Then with the wife this evening took the doggo on one last evening walk before getting the doggo back to relax at the condo, chilling on the couch with the wife after a full day of dog walking. So day three on the dog sitter's log, where somebody woke me up with their barking at the early hour of 5 a.m. this morning. There it is. He wants to go for a walk. 
5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, let's go. Only to have us take him on a nice early morning walk an hour later. But not before I saw this little critter while taking out the recycling. Okay, bye. But guys, I'm guessing that we tired the little doggo out as while I was trying to take a mid-morning nap, this little guy was trying to take one right beside me. And guess what? After I got off the couch though, it looked like he still wanted some cuddles. Going straight to the wife's couch to take a nap with her. Anyways, later on in the morning, we went to a place that we were at not too long ago at Axis Therapy and Performance to have a booked massage and assessment here for the first time. Then of course, it was back to the condo area to tend to the little doggo, taking him on a second of the day slash mid afternoon walk in and around our neighborhood before going in for the first time in a couple of weeks back to John Fisher Public School to have another indoor Midtown Volleyball pickup session. Now guys, after the games were done, we went to the local right wing sports pub to try out a pint of beer and their wing special for only 18 bucks, as well as choosing to these athletes for yet another great indoor volleyball season. Last day of pickoff. Yeah. We gotta get everybody. <laughs> so on the dog sitter's log, been woken up once again by this little critter in the dark. This guy thinks he's living right at home. Like, look at him trying to jump up on the couch to spend some time with me while I was supposed to be catching up on sleep. And well, he did this for several hours while I was still on the couch. Preventing me from obviously getting dressed or continuing with any plans that I had today. But once I was able to escape, the wife and I headed to the local St. Timothy Catholic Church to support one of my friends that I've known for several years now, Timmy, in being there to witness his wedding ceremony with his beautiful bride, Geraldine. Also, continuing on with the other celebrations of the day, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there who you guys know I attended an Alicia Keys concert with a couple summers ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Wayne. Happy birthday, Wayne. I'm hoping that anybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah guys, going back to the groom and bride of the day, Timothy and Geraldine, 
We are currently headed to a close by wedding venue called the Parkview Manor for Timothy and Geraldine's wedding reception. <laughs> Day five on the dog sitter's log, where we got home just after midnight early this morning, where Giselle was helping us dog sit for the night. Thanks, Giselle. Well, we were out having an amazing time at Timmy and Geraldine's wedding. As a matter of fact, I had such a good time dancing on the dance floor and being so full of food and drinks that I actually sent this Facebook message to the wife, wrapping it off while singing this song as we left the venue. But guys, after passing out for a little bit, and having the doggo look at me like this as I got out of the bedroom, greeting me good morning, then continue to show affection to my forearm once again for at least two minutes straight. We had a hearty breakfast at the table before I laid down again to have this point of view of the dog greeting me and licking my face. We then got this guy to wear this cute rain boots and raincoat outfit to take him down in the elevator. And with me and my matching yellow jacket out for a little walk in the rain, saying bye bye to the wife driving in the mini. Bye -bye. Say bye, Chewie. And making our best impression of Cinderella. Oh, stop. Stop. Then, when we got back to the condo, I watched this current replay of SmackDown with not just one glitch, but also another glitch that had appeared on the screen, getting this QR code out of it, which had in fact led me to this creepy online survey, going through all the questions in about 30 seconds. And had these five different scenarios at the end of said survey. What is this? <laughs> what? But moving on today, for the majority of the day, Chewie and I were just at the condo hanging out, watching the Blue Jays game in the background, relaxing here during the foggy, gloomy weather that you could see outside of the condo. Spending quality time with him playing fetch and tug of war, as well as taking him out for a late night walk this evening before trying to shoot my segment with this guy as a distraction. And being so full of food. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> that I. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do my segment here. 
So, day six on the dog sitter's log, where I passed out on the couch alongside the doggo for a couple of hours. Getting up early to wake him as well as see him chase little critters like this squirrel up the neighborhood trees. As well as dragging me to chase some pigeons in the park during our early morning walk. And watching them do their little pigeon thing that they do off in the distance. I went to the 7.30 a.m. Sunday Mass at the St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church. Then taking the Baby Rouge back to Woodbine Beach, I continued one of my several 2024 New Year's goals, playing in the rain my session of beach volleyball for the month of April. Next, after going back to the condo to try to take the doggo out for a walk in the rain to try to pee. Smell and pee. No? The wife and I went to try to check out the Jays game versus the Dodgers. Seeing this guy for the first time in person since he did this to us just last year. Oh! And with all these paparazzis trying to record the glimpses that they have of him in real life. Ooh, yeah. And even encountering an imposter of my cousin suspiciously in the background. Witness one of the best baseball players in the world, Shohei Otani, play baseball versus my Blue Jays. The wife and I afterwards got some ice cream to cap off our Blue Jays date and coincidentally ran into one of our longtime family friends just outside the stadium. And speaking of the Blue Jays, after dropping off the wife to work and big ups to her for attending a Blue Jays game with me in between her night shifts, I saw this Facebook Marketplace item, which I actually went all the way to Ajax to pick up as a gift for the little doggo, Chewy. And yeah, since I was also in the East End to pick this Facebook Marketplace item up, I decided to visit somebody that I always visit whenever I'm in the area. Seeing her for the first time since I think the holiday party last year. Visiting my former coworker Indy and showing off to her my latest purchase, as well as once again playing with her doggo Sky. Come here. Bring Before coming back home to walk in the dark, our doggo Chewy, and have him play a little bit of fetch with me this evening. Chewy, what are you doing? Anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my titos out there who always seems to lose his beer and who also came up with this saying, huh, where's my beer? This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tito Rene. Happy birthday, Tito Rene. We next got a birthday shout out to a friend of mine who has moved out to the West Coast for a bit. 
and who has made appearances in episodes in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Linda. Happy birthday, Linda. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my university friends who is an inspiration to me, especially in my running races of whom I actually coincidentally ran into during one of my marathons. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So day seven on the dog sitter's log, where I had snuck in a late night snack eating McDonald's in the mini to avoid teasing the doggo while I'm eating with food in front of his face, then went about putting Chewie's new Blue Jays jersey on him, Wow, look who has a new jersey. And taking a moment to take a couple of fashion shoot videos. Yeah, nice jersey. Then while on the couch, intermittently making eye contact with one another, eventually tiring each other out, I was able to sleep, but only for about four hours. Waking up to the semi night sky at a time way before the sunrise to take the doggo on a ride in the elevator, then walking him in the windy weather. Next, after bringing the wind with him into the condo from the outdoors, I was able to introduce to you the newest member of the mini carpool club. Guys, we have a new special guest in the mini carpool. Chewy! And with this having Chewy chill in the front seat while driving downtown this morning, I was actually able to do the rare thing of surprising the wife when I picked her up after her night shift was done. Hello! Oh my god! <laughs> Surprise! That's you, a nice surprise. Were you surprised? Yeah. I didn't realize you said hi. <laughs> then, after the fun car ride with him in the back seat, we took the doggo out to walk back with us to the condo to relax before taking him quickly on another afternoon walkout. Then this evening for the second night in a row, the wife and I headed back to the Rogers Center to do an early birthday surprise for our family friend, Gio. Happy birthday! <laughs> Meeting up with his family to enjoy the Blue Jays game and a night out with them. And guys, after that nice Blue Jays win, we have arrived back at the condo to wrap up this dog-filled Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.